You want to step into the project management world or advance your career in project management. CAPM is the foundation level certification of the PMI for project management field. But how do you know the crucial points about CAPM certification? We will go over the seven need to know points about CAPM certification before you start your CAPM exam preparation journey. We have prepared this video after helping hundreds of thousands of CAPM certification aspirants to get ready and pass their CAPM certification exams. We have tried to clarify the most frequently asked and confused points about CAPM certification. 1. What is CAPM? CAPM is an abbreviation of Certificate Associate in Project Management. PMI Institute provides CAPM certification to the professionals who fulfill the CAPM eligibility requirements first and then pass the CAPM certification exam successfully. PMI, or Project Management Institute, was founded in 1969 in Pennsylvania, USA by five volunteers who are working in the field of project management. However, it took 14 years to organize their first symposium in 1983 in Atlanta, Georgia. 83 professionals attended the first symposium of the PMI Institute. The PMI Institute aimed to prepare a common language of project management profession all around the world. The best thing to achieve this was conducting a certification exam and instructing certification exam candidates on a common ground of project management language. Today, no doubt, CAPM is the world's most prestigious foundational level project management certification around the world, and there are thousands of CAPM certification holders around the world. By increasing importance of PMP and CAPM certification, the PMI Institute published the PMBOK, or Project Management Body of Knowledge series, to ensure a common language of project management. This also helped CAPM certification exam candidates to see what the exam content is. 2. Is a CAPM certification worth it? Answer the following two questions. Are you planning to advance your career in project management? And do you want to increase your salary and find project management jobs easily? If you answered yes to one of these questions, the CAPM certification is definitely a good option for a better career. If you look at job descriptions and details, you will see that many of the project management related jobs require project management certifications as a must or strongly required credential to apply for the job. Even jobs requiring leadership such as a software development manager, team manager or other managerial positions require certification as a strong merit for applications. So. If you are planning to have a good project management career or a managerial career, the CAPM certification will be a great asset to have on your resume. 3. Is it hard to get a CAPM certification? It depends on many factors, such as your background, dedication, CAPM preparation materials, and other several points. However, I can shortly say that CAPM certification is not an easy exam. We had students who prepared and passed the CAPM exam in a month, while we had students who prepared around a year to get a CAPM certification. On average, we recommend you to spare around six months to get ready for the CAPM certification exam. The CAPM certification exam is a three-hour long 150-question exam. Theoretical and practical experience of the candidates are assessed during the CAPM certification exam. If you do not get CAPM exam preparation serious, most probably you will be heading for a failure. It will not be hard to get a CAPM certification if you will be careful on the following points. Attend in a comprehensive CAPM training. There are several CAPM training providers and options on the market. Make sure that you will choose a proper CAPM training option that will satisfy the PM education requirements of the CAPM exam and get you ready for the CAPM exam thoroughly. Practice with as many CAPM sample questions as possible. Once you completed your CAPM exam preparation, it is critical to see as many CAPM questions as possible. This will build your confidence to sit for the CAPM exam and help to see your weaknesses before the CAPM exam. 4. What are the requirements for the CAPM certification? 
There are three major steps of getting CAPM certified. First, you must satisfy the CAPM eligibility requirements. There are two CAPM certification requirements to meet for the CAPM exam. Having at least secondary degree education level and completing 23 contact hours of CAPM training. If you satisfy these two conditions, you can apply for the CAPM exam. Second, you can apply for the CAPM certification at PMI.org's website. During your CAPM application, PMI will ask details about your education level, attended training, and other relevant information to check whether you are eligible to apply for the CAPM exam. Once you pass the eligibility step, you will have one year to sit and pass the CAPM exam. Third and lastly, once PMI approves your application, you can sit for the CAPM exam. Make sure that you will prepare thoroughly for the CAPM exam. You will sit for a 3-hour and 150-question exam. Once you have passed the CAPM exam, you will get CAPM certified. 5. How much does a CAPM make and what is the CAPM salary? The biggest benefit of the CAPM certification to the individual is for sure the value of the CAPM certificate. The Certified Associate in Project Management, or CAPM, certification is the most important industry-recognized certification for entry-level project management professionals. The PMI's Earning Power Project Management Salary Survey showed respondents with a project management certification had a 20% higher average salary than those without a certification. We also did a research in the U.S. job market as well. We found that, in the U.S., a project management certification holder earns 14% more than a regular project manager who does not have a certification. A CAPM certification holding project manager earns around $100,000 per year in the U.S. Depending on the industry, experiences, and skills of the project manager, this amount can vary. However, this is an average of the reported salaries. 6. How can I apply for CAPM certification? There are two ways for applying for CAPM certification. Online CAPM application and paper CAPM application. We've been in the CAPM certification business since 2012, and I haven't heard anyone using the paper CAPM application method. The main reason is the online CAPM application is more convenient and faster to complete. If you choose to apply online, you'll have to create a profile on the PMI website, pmi.org, and the CAPM application wizard will guide you to fill in your following details, respectively. Personal details, such as name, email, address, etc., attained education, project management experience, and project management education. After you've completed the CAPM application steps, you will be asked to review your CAPM application form. Once you have submitted your CAPM application, it will take five calendar days for PMI to review your CAPM application. 7. How do I get my CAPM certification? You know what the CAPM certification is. You are eligible to sit for the CAPM certification exam. Finally, you decided to prepare for the CAPM certification exam. What should you do next? Prepare your own CAPM study plan. The CAPM preparation takes a significant amount of time, especially if you are a working professional, sparing your leisure time to get ready for the CAPM certification exam is unavoidable. Therefore, you have to prepare a solid and good CAPM study plan to pass the CAPM certification exam. After helping 125,000 professionals to pass their CAPM certification exam, we prepared a seven-step CAPM study plan for working professionals. Let us go through each step of a successful CAPM study plan. 1. Determine target date for your CAPM exam. Evaluate your schedule, your workload for the following months, and how well you can dedicate yourself for CAPM study. Based on our experience, a typical CAPM certification study takes around 50 to 60 hours in total. Note that this is just an average, and depending on your background and skills, your CAPM study can take shorter or longer. A working professional can spare six hours a week for the CAPM study, 
and it makes 8 to 10 weeks in total for the CAPM study. Therefore, setting your CAPM exam target date 3 to 4 months ahead will be reasonable. 2. Prepare your CAPM study plan. After setting your CAP exam target date, prepare a detailed plan on what you will study each week till the CAPM exam date. PMBOK contains project management knowledge areas and introductory sections as well. Content of each knowledge area or section is different. However, roughly, aim to complete one section or knowledge area per week. Some of the sections or knowledge areas will take longer to complete, while some of them take shorter. Also, some weeks might be busier at work and you may not spare enough time for your CAPM study. However, if you aim to complete one section or knowledge area per week, it will help you to complete your CAPM study in three to four months in total. 3. Take notes during your CAPM study. You will see lots of terms, concepts, formulas, and several things that need to be remembered during your CAPM certification exam. Since the CAPM study takes months, it will be perfect to take your notes during your CAPM preparation. While you complete new sections or knowledge areas, you can go over your notes to remember the sections you've already completed. This will help you to keep your knowledge fresh. 4. Make practice as much as possible. This is actually a tip that's not applicable only for the CAPM certification preparation. No matter for which exam you're studying for, making practices as much as possible will help you to see several alternatives of questions that you might face in your real exam. The same rule applies for CAPM exam as well, and this will increase your CAPM exam success respectively. 5. Go through your wrong answers. While you are going through the CAPM exam practice questions, take notes regarding your wrong answers. Go over your wrong answers and take notes about why you made a mistake. If you have lots of wrong answers on a particular section or knowledge area, it will be better to go through that section once again. 6. Go through your notes frequently. CAPM study takes months to get ready for the CAPM certification exam. You need to remember what you learned months ago. The best way to do it is going through your notes frequently. You can spare 30 minutes of your weekly CAPM study for going over your notes to remember the sections you've already completed. 7. Go and get the CAPM. You've completed all the sections and knowledge areas, you score over 70% from sample CAPM exam questions, and you feel confident to sit for the CAPM exam. Schedule your CAPM exam date through the test center or online proctoring method. Do not study hard during the last week of your CAPM study. Just go through your CAPM notes each day to remember the content. Before the exam date, take a good sleep and relax. Plan to appear in the exam center one hour before your CAPM exam time so that you can accommodate for any traffic jam or other unanticipated situations. You can visit the description area of this video to find more details about the CAPM certification. I wish you success in your CAPM journey.